the heat continues tonight is 74 over 92 yesterday was worse I think it was 79 still when I went to sleep I've been running just the dehumidifiers today to see if I could get away with it but now I'm starting to cook it it's just too hot so we're gonna turn all the air conditioners on again and just keep running up the light bill I guess we'll start with the uh, the fetters here in the kitchen This one has a very loud refrigerant sound, which is kind of neat. Not quite going there, we'll come back to this one. It takes a minute to build the pressure. I'm even going to put the, the living room one on as well. It should be in range, yeah. sounding very copacetic recently. Oh, quite a minute. When I first installed this, it would sound pretty bad when it was hot out. And now it doesn't really do that anymore. Well, obviously it's more content running when it's not hot, but it's, uh, it doesn't sound bad at all when it's 90 plus degrees out. So. This thing seems to be in very good shape, other than the pan. Hopefully this will last me many years, because I like the machine and it works well. You can hardly even hear the compressor, it's running very quietly and smooth. You can hear the refrigerant going through. And it's already cold. This builds pressure very fast for a rotary. Here's one of my personal favorites, the Carrier Siesta series. Three, two, one. This is such good equipment. I checked the temperature of the compressor a couple days ago when it was 94 degrees out, I think. And the compressor was a whopping 102 degrees. It's already 
already cold. And since the thermostat miraculously has started working, we can set that and it will not freeze in here. I don't know why the thermostat started working, but I'm not going to question it. I just hope it stays working. This thing sounds like garbage and it takes a long time to get going, but once it gets going, it does its thing pretty well. This needs to be recalibrated. It's almost, uh, this is only like 74 degrees all the way down. Um, here we go. Really, you're going to sound perfectly fine. Other than the rattling, that's not what I was talking about. The rattling, oddly enough, goes away after a few minutes. It's just something's loose here. This is all brittle plastic and whatever. Huh. Unbelievable. Well, that time was fine. It's not cold yet. It takes several minutes to get cold. But Unbelievable. Every day I turn this thing on and it sounds like it's going to explode and now today it's perfectly fine. What is going on in here? It doesn't usually make that sound so much. It usually just does that on startup or shutdown for 10 or 15 seconds and then it goes away. I guess it wants to be on low right now. That's kind of weird. <laughs> and lastly, here we go with this gem. Yes, this is still in here. I'll be replacing it with that old uh, brand new Westinghouse very soon. All the conditioners are running now. Now you can hear the refrigerant. It's already getting much colder in here. This I only run for a few minutes, that's all you need. A great piece of equipment. 